Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video I want to talk about what is going to be coming up in the future of Global Dokkan Battle. Now, the thing that I find very interesting is obviously we have the uh, list right here of everything that's coming around and it looks like everything is going to end roughly around uh, April 2nd. So as you can see here, a number of the different story events are going to end. It does look like the Berserker of Destruction event does go on for about another 12 days from that point. But as you can see, everything looks like uh, a big chunk of everything that's been around for a while ends on the 2nd. Now, what we know for a fact is that April 1st, we always have some type of April Fool's Day celebration. And it usually uh, uh, lasts for approximately uh, a week on everything that's going to go on there. So I can really see them on the first, something dropping, um, having some type of event that goes on, having it last seven to ten days, uh, additional uh, stones that are going to be coming out. They could possibly do maybe some type of an easy A area. I personally think it would be really cool if they were to turn around and like maybe easy A some of the uh, uh, April Fool's units. I think that would be pretty funny. And those units, they, I mean, a lot of them are really good. And then you have like the Yamchas, which is just, the, they're hilarious units. Um, for what it was, um, so it'll be it'll be pretty interesting to see what kind of things end up happening. Um, but other than that, uh, really, I think it's going to go about a week after that, and then I think the next event that we're actually going to end up getting is going to be the Dual Do Confest for uh, PyCon and Janimba. And I think then that we're going to be looking at that land probably right around April 5th, 6th, 7th, somewhere around that time frame. Um, this right here is the Super Thanks End of the Year New Year campaign that Janimba and uh, PyCon were a part of. So obviously there's a whole bunch of different things that kind of go along here. Uh, I'll break down these a little bit further at, at another time once something is actually officially announced. Um, but as of right now, this right here, you can kind of see that was the Duldo Confest for these two units. And you can see the thing that, that's really nice about it is they la it lasted about three weeks. And the reason why I think that's going to be around that April 5th, 6th, 7th time frame is going to be the fact that that will take us straight into Goku Day and, and, and have a nice lead in to that time frame. Uh, some of the other events and some of the different things that were going on during this time period, there's a new story event, which I'll, I'll uh, highlight here in just a moment, a new Prime Battle. Uh, the Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, this was open daily. That's the reason why I think they're, they were saving for this event that we're going to get those 10 new uh, stages for Extreme Super Battle Road to uh, drop down, or actually, I'm sorry, not even, ex well, may maybe Extreme Super Battle Road, but I think Super Battle Road, whichever one has the new new stages that come down, I think one of them is going to have, uh, have it, and it's going to be nice because those are open every day, and I really wish that they would just leave that open all the time now, uh, because that would be something that would really help out everybody. Um, we obviously have a new Do uh, Ultimate Dokkan Clash, I could see them do another uh, Heart Pounding Gift campaign or something like that. We would get the EZA then for this Janimba, the Strength Janimba. That's going to be a nice 30 stone boost right there. Uh, then a couple other uh, story events that we can see coming back in EZA battles. Some of the other things that make this uh, a little more understanding, we've got the EZA for these uh, this Goku and Vegeta unit, which again could kind of lead into something for uh, Goku Day, which I'll make another video on because I think Goku Day is going to be movie themed again. And I think that that'll be very interesting. So I think there's a couple different routes they can end up taking with that. Um, but as you can see here, we got the explosive chain battle against the uh, uh, Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta Angel. Now, the thing that's also really interesting about this is it really did not have a part two celebration, and we are caught up on LRs. So. We're going to be going into whatever the next Dokkan Fest is, Goku Day, and then we usually get a global exclusive. If we do not get a global exclusive, I truly think that at that time, we're going to be looking at JP and Global matching up. Will it be during the worldwide celebration, or could it be for the seven year? That's going to be hard to say, but it, I mean, realistically, I think if they wanted to get the two versions matched up, they could probably have it pretty well uh, there by worldwide celebration or at least on the standpoint that they could say hey you guys can just kind of run and i'm okay with us being like a month behind them that's completely cool you know it, that way maybe maybe when we're finishing up part two they're starting a new part one you know something's that effect it could be interesting um just to highlight these banners here real quick and i do plan on doing a much more in-depth uh look at this 
I like these banners. Yes, the units are different. We'll talk about the units at another time. But, I mean, look at this. You've got, you've got two LR anniversary units. You've got the uh, the Tech Boo, which is pretty good. You've got the Turles, which everybody runs a Turles. If you don't have a Turles, another great opportunity to get him. You have the uh, Super Broly, which is great for being able to do an attack all. And then you've got these these two uh, Gogetas that are, are realistically really good. I mean, he, this Gogeta right here now can hit 3.5 million with his EZA pretty easily. So, I mean, he, these are good banners. Um, so, I, I'll give my full in-depth again at another time, but I mean... These are not horrible banners. I keep hearing everybody say, oh, these are just trash, trash banners, trash banners. And, and I do not in any way, shape, or form think they're trash banners. This guy right here is about the only one that I think is like, nah, okay. But you hear everybody praise this guy. Um, these two, you're talking about uh, a super, all, all super units and then all extreme units. So for new players, they are great because they allow you to do so much more with your units. So uh, not, not horrible. Um, but we'll have this new fu uh, Fusion Reborn uh, Goku and Vegeta event that'll be coming uh, coming around that we're going to get this new Viku. Um, and then not to mention uh, a the new Prime Battle that's going to come out, so we're going to have that. The uh, LR Krillin campaign was part of this, and that has already been announced for uh, Global, so you know that that's going to be coming around. And uh, pretty interesting, really, from that standpoint. And then this right here, obviously, is the Janimba, uh, where Fusion is going to be the uh, the weakness uh, for this. Which I mean, you you could turn around. I mean, it's it's going to be sh strength, so you can't take the um, uh, uh, LR uh, physical Goku and, F and Vegeta, but I mean, you could. But I mean, they're they're probably going to get hit pretty hard. Uh, just having type disadvantage on it but at the same time i mean there's so many different great fusion units i mean you you, you take in the go or the gogeta uh agl blue um you know he's just going to devastate them so i mean this is <laughs> pretty nice um but otherwise guys that's it that's just kind of what i want to give us my thought of, of how how and why i think janimba and pycon are going to be the next uh, units to be dropping. I think it's going to be around April 5th, 6th, 7th, around that time frame, and it, it lines us up pretty well for getting us right up into Goku Day, because Goku Day is um, May 9th, but then you also have the 8th and the 7th, I believe, is Goten, Gohan, and then Goku, so um, it should be pretty cool. It should be pretty interesting. Um, be able to kind of go from that standpoint but otherwise guys that's today's video if you haven't done so already please make sure you guys are going and hitting that red subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so that way you're notified each and every time that i'm uploading a new video but otherwise guys that's it that's today's video um let me know down in the comments below what you guys think but otherwise we'll talk to you guys later